Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The three-day Shat Sukhman Sem festival came to an end on Monday with several of the tribal Khasi men and women participating in the Thanksgiving dance amidst heavy rainfall. This annual Thanksgiving marks the end of the harvesting season, typically in April, with a jubilant display of tradition and unity. Translated as the dance of peaceful hearts, Shat Sukhman Sem embodies the essence of joy and spiritual fulfillment. The festival began on April 13 and concluded on Monday at Madan Waking with more than 500 dancers in total. According to the recent analysis done by the Association of Democratic Reforms, the sitting MP and Congress candidate of Shillong, parliamentary seat, Vincent H. Pala, ranks as the eighth richest MP candidate in India in the first phase of the Lok Sabha elections with assets of Rs 1.25, 0.81, 0.59, 0 0.331 crores. The analysis shows that MP Pala holds over 2.51, 0 0.59, 0 0.331 crores of movable assets and Rs 1.23, 0 0.30, 0 0.00. 0 .000 immovable assets. The four times MP from Congress won the first Lok Sabha elections in 2009. Before joining politics, Pala served as the Assistant Chief Engineer, Public Works Department, Government of Meghalaya from 2000 to 2008. In anticipation of the upcoming general elections to the Lok Sabha on April 19, 2024 and the subsequent counting of votes on June 4, 2024, Jagdish Chelani, IES, Deputy Commissioner of West Garo Hills District, Tura, has announced dry days for the entire district. The restraint orders will be in effect on April 17, 18 and 19, 2024 and also on June 4, 2024 during the vote counting process. The Armed Army Party, AAP, has officially accused the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, and its candidate, Tapan Kumar Gogoi, for violating the Model Code of Conduct. The AAP leadership claims that a businessman was captured on video reportedly handing money to voters in Jorhat. Dr. Bhaben Chaudhary, the AAP state president in Assam, expressed concern about the video and photo evidence supposedly documenting cash distribution during the event, which is a clear violation of Election Commission standards. The accusation highlighted the cash distributor's relationship with Union Home Minister Amit Shah raising more concerns. A big breakthrough in battling the drug trade was accomplished through a coordinated efforts by the Assam Rifles and the Criminal Investigation Department, or CID, in Aizawl, Mizoram, with the successful interception of heroin valued at Rs 2.27 crore. The activities, which were carried out in phases, generated critical evidence that led to the arrest of suspected smugglers. The discovered contraband, weighing 325.3 grams, was skillfully hidden into 27 soap cases, a common strategy used by traffickers to avoid detection. Assam's weather is predicted to worsen in the next days with heavy rainfall expected. The Regional Meteorological Center, RMC in Guwahati, released a bulletin warning of stormy weather in Assam. Assam is predicted to see turbulent weather conditions as a result of cyclonic circulation over North Bangladesh and its vicinity, mixed with moisture influx from the Bay of Bengal. Heavy rains are forecast in Assam on April 16 and 17. Meta has finally launched its AI chatbot on WhatsApp, integrating superior artificial intelligence into your conversation experience. This release is crucial, particularly for Indian users who may now effortlessly interact with AI features within the WhatsApp conversations. Meta AI is currently only available in English and is limited to a few countries, including India. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Mithela. <laughs>